Hey everybody, I'm back again, and, uh, well, <laughs> you might remember my video that I made on this a few days ago, it was the, uh, this is my 486 DX4, <laughs> very, very first computer I ever had, and, uh, this thing is actually a custom-built computer from 1992, and, uh, very... Very old computer. It started as an MS-DOS and then became a Windows 3.1, and, uh, now it's a Windows 95. So, uh, yeah, this is starting off great, I can tell. <laughs> so, as you can tell, this is a very bulky machine. This is my hand in comparison. Just look at this thing. It's huge. <laughs> um, so... One unusual thing about this is that it's got a five and a quarter inch floppy drive. You don't see that too often anymore. And a three and a half inch floppy drive, although I honestly don't ever see myself using either of them. I don't have any floppy disks that I would ever use. <laughs> and, uh, you might notice this. Uh, it may be hard to believe this, but that CD drive is not the original CD drive that came with it, uh... It's a replacement CD drive. I know it's yellowed to no end, but, uh... <laughs> yellowed more than anything else on the computer, despite being newer than all of it. Very ironic. 44X. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, that was very fast for the time. This was at a time when, like, you had quad-speed, eight-speed CD drives. So, yeah, that was really fast for the time, uh... That button in the middle is the turbo button, which isn't usable anymore, because that's mostly for MS-DOS. Button on the right is hard drive disk reset. Button on the left is power. That's the lock. You never see that anymore. And, uh, let's look at the back of this thing. Got all this cool stuff back here. Uh, that's the serial port. One unusual thing about this computer is that it's actually got two serial ports, uh... There's one right over there, and one right over there. I know you probably can't see it, but... <laughs> There's the power supply unit, which this thing is actually a pain to work with whenever you're plugging it in, because whenever you want to push it in, it slides back, so you have to reinforce it with this thing right here, and it's a pain to do. So, there's the keyboard port. It's got an unusual keyboard thing for it. Uh, so, yeah... Several of the specs of this computer, like I said, it's a 486 DX4 100 megahertz processor. It was a 386 at first, but it isn't anymore. It's uh, got a Sound Blaster 16, as usual. Um, and <laughs> it all seems fine until you get to the video card, which I've already covered, but uh, now I'm able to get some more details on it. It's a Trident TVGA 9000B. <laughs> No video acceleration and a whopping 512 kilobytes of video RAM. Seriously. <laughs> uh, this is actually the original keyboard that I remember using. I think it is anyway. I can't really imagine why it wouldn't be. This thing is really old. And uh, if you recognize that mouse, yes, it's the one on the Windows 95. Oh, by the way, about the serial port, I... I was about to cover it when we were looking at, back, at it back there, but it's actually kind of loose. So if you want to plug something in, it's a huge pain. So yeah, um, I think I pretty much covered all the specs. Oh yeah, it's a, got an 800 megabyte hard drive. <laughs> Gosh, that is so funny to think about nowadays. Uh, yes, this is the monitor I used to use. Uh, I've now got a widescreen monitor, so, uh, without further ado, let's power this thing up. I will be right back. Alright, now it is time for the real deal. <laughs> let's turn this thing on, shall we?
The refresh lines on this screen are kind of bad, but it gets better when we actually get into Windows. So, don't worry about the refresh lines too much. It gets better, trust me. It's a cathode ray tube monitor. What do you expect? It always shows this for whatever reason. I have no idea. <laughs> Guess the settings? I don't know. Yes, this thing has the Windows 3.1 startup sound, and it's also got the chime for when it shuts down. Don't ask me what the heck that's about. Hey, uh... If you're wondering about the loud noise, that's the CD drive. The CD drive on here is pretty loud. So, uh... Right off the bat, you might notice a few applications on here. Uh... First off, we've got Aladdin up here. That's actually Aladdin Activity Center. I don't played that game in years. There's Microsoft Network. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny to see. Uh, yeah, Detective Barbie. That's my sister's game. I mean, we don't have it anymore, but uh, I left it installed on here just for nostalgia. Toy Story Activity Center. Uh, played that game fairly often. The Tortoise and the Hare, that's a living books game. I won't be showing it here, though, because Scholastic's a copyright troll. Uh, George Shrinks, that's a living book ripoff. <laughs> yeah, once living books got into the whole storytelling computer game business, a bunch of other computers followed suit, and uh, I think HarperCollins Interactive was one of them. And uh, don't ask me what the heck this Elroy Goes Bug Zerk is. I have no idea that. I I really don't know what the heck that is. Uh, it's some game I had, but uh, I don't remember what it was about. It made zero sense. So. Oh. Uh, um. So yeah, that's basically the desktop. Uh. Want to see something funny on here? Guess what this has on it? Games. Can you believe it? Reversey. Watch me fail. Oh, I'm actually kind of doing good. I probably shouldn't be saying that, but yeah. Oh, crap. Ah. No, oh, thank you. Thank you for the beyond helpful notification, I, I'm so glad to know that I, I can only do it where it's a cross. Thank you so unbelievably much. Oh, you stink. Oh, you stink more. Uh, yeah, I, I really don't know what I'm doing. Going into random places and I'm losing. Putting no strategy or effort into this whatsoever. Oh. Yeah, he got the corner. I really care. <laughs> yeah, enough of that. Um, let's see. Yeah, HarperCollins Interactive, George Shrinks. Uh, Hasbro, Tonka Construction, Tonka Search and Rescue. I don't have Tonka Search and Rescue, but I do have Tonka Construction. I might show it off. Uh, Disney Software and Disney Interactive. Don't ask me how those are different from each other. Bruder Bun Software, James Discovers Math. I used to have that game and I don't anymore. <laughs> Wasn't really that good to be honest. I should probably mention it. I think it ran off the same engine as the Living Books games. So, interesting tidbits. DK Multimedia, I think that's Dorling Kindersley. It was a, I had a sampler for this and apparently I had a game called The Way Things Work, but don't ask me if I remember anything about it because I sure the heck don't. Uh, anyway, uh, I have Pajama Sam 2 in here, and, uh, like I said, the video card in this thing is horrible, so since I have Pajama Sam 2 in here, we're just gonna play it, cause, well, why shouldn't I? So, uh, the video card in here is so bad. 
that it goes into slow machine mode. Your computer has to be pretty bad for a humongous game to think it's too slow. You're too slow. Uh, anyway. Let's boot this up, shall we? Well, not the computer, the game. Here we go. Watch it struggle to run it. The processor pretty much has to do all the work. This taskbar out of the... Oh, okay. Turn the volume up a little bit. brightness down pretty low, so it's probably gonna look really weird for me to play it this way. Yeah, if you notice between every screen, you can very clearly see it white. Oh yeah, and then every time it goes above 20 FPS, it goes 10 frames per second. Yeah, for some reason, these next few scenes go at 20 frames per second, but this video card is so bad, it only goes to 10. This scene as an example. Now the music is totally off sync. <laughs> he should have already been scared by the lightning by this point. <laughs> Gosh, this video card is bad. Keep in mind, I'm not in the house alone, so I can't have this up too loud. Gosh, the music's already over! Soundtrack Dissonance, FTL! Alright. Now let's look for it. As long as this computer doesn't struggle because of the horrible- Oh, wow! First try! Awesome! Notice this, but uh, for humongous games, if your processor is bad enough or if your video card is bad enough, it goes into the special mode where uh, certain things won't animate. So uh, you might notice a few differences here. I think I have the brightness down a little bit too low for this game in particular. See the rain's not falling. So this is where all the weather comes from. Thunder and lightning must work there. The 20 frames per second issue isn't really that bad until you get to games like Spy Fox 2 where basically every other scene goes at 20 frames per second. 
Like, the scene where the dog bot goes on a rampage is probably the worst example. Gosh, that scene looks horrible. Even my Omnibook has a better video card than this, and that's saying something because that's a laptop computer.